All right, do it. My name is Joel Whitehead. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I am a luthier who builds and fixes guitars for a living. Uh, I've been working on instruments for around, uh, uh, since I was around 13 years old. Uh, it just drove me crazy how an instrument worked, and I knew how to play it, but I didn't know how to work on it at that point in my life, which was a really young age. My thing is I like to restore stuff. I like to rip it all apart and put it back together. I just get a really, really big kick out of that. I started doing these Martin conversions a while ago, and the Martin conversion is basically an OM or triple O sized uh, instrument, this Brazilian rosewood sides and back, that started its life out as an arch top. Uh, Martin was never really known for their arch tops, they were more known for their flat tops, but it was really cool because they built all their arch tops in the same basis of the flat top. So the sides and back are what would be on a uh, triple O flat top. So uh, except for the back has arch to it because it's obviously an arch back and with an arch top. So a little bit different. The arch back is really cool. Having more arch in the back, you know, adds to the sound of it. So that's why these instruments make really cool conversions. So it's a new top, a new neck, and a new bridge. And basically, this guitar started its life out as a C2T, which was a tenor. Um, not many people want tenor guitars uh, anymore. It's not 1935, and we're not in a big band that plays center instruments, so it's more of like a novelty instrument. Um, but it's not a big deal to make a new neck for it and to route out the neck joint to accommodate a neck for a six string instrument. So that's what I did to this instrument, and I started doing these, and it was almost like telling myself, I'm building an instrument, I'm just not building the back and sides to it. Why don't I just start building my own instruments? It just doesn't make sense to, I love doing these and I love you know, recreating that uh, from that time period, but why don't I just start building guitars? That's how building guitars started for me. I started working at Norm's, or how it came about was, I moved to Los Angeles about 10 years ago and I used to go to all the shops and try to find fucked up vintage guitars because I love vintage instruments that I could restore and resell. And that's mainly what I did. And I would go in there all the time and he'd give me these basket case instruments that uh, <laughs> were almost like unrecognizable that he would get in with on a big tray or something like that or however he got them. And I'd bring them back to him and I would sell them back to him, which was kind of interesting, but he would see like what I would do with it and then bring it back to him. And he was really kind of impressed. So, uh, long story short, that's kind of how that happened. Building an instrument is like waking up every day on Sunday morning and being like, hey, I'm ready to build an instrument. I'm ready to repair an instrument. That all started when I was not doing it as a full functioning profession. And I really loved doing it. And I was like, it'd be really cool if I could live my Sunday every day of my life what do I really like to do? I like to fix and I like to build instruments. And that's what I do. <laughs> so I live every day of my life like it's Sunday. I enjoy what I do. And how people say, you find something you like to do and you'll never work a day in your life, that's totally wrong. You, you're still working. But you still love what you do. What pushes me to keep doing it is I like the progress of stuff with anything, with anything I do in life. Building an instrument it started from this log of wood and it's turned into an instrument like like holy shit like all the pieces together it's a progress it's, i like to see the repetition and something coming from this to to that just seeing all the steps and being like wow man i made this a playable instrument 